In this video we are going to create a poster for a music school, Viking Music. We will not use Photoshop or Microsoft Publisher but just do it in Word. At the end of the video we ensure that the poster can be spread in image format and we will use a little trick for that. We make the poster in the A4 format. In Word 2007 we start with a new document. If the size isn't yet on A4 we can do that by going to the page layout section and size a whole list of formats appear and when clicking on A4 the document is in the A4 format. The next thing to do is set the margins to zero. You don't do that normally in a text document but when creating a poster we want to use the whole document. Margins can be set to zero by clicking in page layout on margins and next on custom margins. And here we can set the value for top left, bottom and right to zero. And we click OK. Then we get a warning uh, from our uh, printer, but we can ignore that because we're going to export this, export the document as an image. So we click Ignore. The document has no margins anymore, and the cursor is flashing at the left top. We begin the creation of the poster with the top part, and that's this section. This will be an image of some musical notes with a wavy edge on the bottom. And Word 2007 has a perfect tool for this, it's called the Scribble tool. Back to Word 2007. We click on Insert, Shapes, and we find the Scribble tool under Lines. And when clicked the cursor changes into a plus sign. And we can now start drawing our shape. I start at the bottom. I zoom a little uh, out. I can see the whole document. I start at the bottom and drag the mouse waving from left to right. And at the end I drag the mouse over the top back to the beginning. And after releasing the shape is created. And I can now fill this shape with whatever I want. And we can see this by going to shape fill in uh, format under drawing tools. And we can fill it with a color, we can fill it with a picture, we can fill it with a gradient, we can fill it with a texture, or a pattern. But in this uh, example we fill it with a picture. So I click picture. And on my hard drive I have a an image of some musical notes. I click on that and insert and the image is placed in the shape. A very nice aspect is the option to further tune the shape after placing the picture. This can be done by clicking on format in drawing tools. Notice there are two formats, one for the shape, that's this one, and one for the picture or image, and that is this one. And we need the first one because we want to edit the shape. By clicking on edit shape and then edit points, we can adjust all points on the curve. 
by simply dragging them. And when adjusting points, the picture directly matches itself to the shape. It's also possible to drag the shape up or down entirely. We can do this by first clicking outside the shape and after that inside the shape. And now we can drag the whole shape up or down. And okay, a little down. And now it's good. We are going to change two things to the shape, color and shadow. At first color. This can be done by adjusting the brightness a little bit. We click on format in picture tools because we want to adjust the picture. And next we're going to brightness and when we lower the brightness the picture gets a darker color and I choose for minus 10 percent. The next thing to do is add a shadow to the shape. This, this can be done by clicking on format in drawing tools um, and then shadow effects. And here we can choose a shadow. I want the shadow to appear below the shape. So, so I click on shadow style 3. And there's our shadow. And because I want to give the shadow another color, I click again and shadow color. And here I can choose another color for the shadow. And I take this one. And the shadow is now black. It's possible to adjust the position of the shadow with the four arrows under shadow effects. I drag the shadow a little down by clicking nudge shadow down twice. And the top part of the poster is now finished. The creation of the bottom part goes in the same way as the top part. I create the shape again with the scribble tool there he goes and fill this shape with the same picture as the top part. The brightness of the picture is also adjusted to minus 10 percent and I add a shadow and this time to the top and also a black color and nudge shadow up a couple of times. It's even possible to adjust the shape with the shadow already applied. And I'm going to adjust a couple of points. And the bottom part is also ready. And now the middle part of the poster. And this is a picture of a couple of musical instruments. I'm going to insert this picture by using a text box. 
replacing a text box is done by clicking on insert and then text box draw text box and now we can draw one and I make sure that when drawing the text box the edges of the shapes are just under it so I'll begin here and to here now we have a text box and to place the text box behind the shape we click on send to back and the position of the image will now be behind the musical notes there's one thing to do before inserting the picture and that is adjusting the margins of the text box so that the text box will be completely filled with the picture we click on the text box and then on the arrow in the down right corner of the size section we go to text box and here we can adjust the internal margins and I set them to zero and OK and now the text box has no margins anymore to place a picture in the text box we click on shape fill and then picture and we can now just select the picture on our hard drive and insert it by clicking on insert and the image is placed in the text box it's possible to adjust the picture a little via format picture tools with brightness and contrast we can reduce or increase the brightness or the contrast in a recolor we can uh, display the picture in grayscale or in black and white but I keep the picture the way it is now all we have to do now is add some text and the poster is ready on top I insert a text box and I type in Viking music insert text box and we make this one red I use the Trajan Pro font I like that font a lot Viking music and now the bottom part and that's the best in town and be there another text box again red and in that text box a new one ok again same font the best in to large so the best in town is that correct yes I'll make it also bold and below this one another text box
and shape fill to no fill and the shape outline to no outline and B there is that correct? Yes. And center the text and the poster is finished and ready for export. I want to make an image from this poster, a so called JPG or JPEG, but how do we do that? When looking in the save options, there's no possibility to save it as an image. Nothing. We have to use a trick to accomplish this. We go first going to save the poster as a PDF via save as PDF and we are calling it the Viking. And now our poster is saved as a PDF. Next we fire up our browser and search for PDF to JPG converter. And here we have them. We click on it and with this website we can convert a PDF to a JPG and it works very good. We here, here we can select our PDF but first we take a look at the quality. We can choose average, good, excellent. Now I choose good. Next I search for my PDF, open and then convert PDF to JPG and it's ready. I can view it, I can download it or I can download it as a zip. Now I uh, download as a JPG and we save it OK and it's this one open and here we have our poster in the JPG format made with Word 2007 and now I can uh, do all kind of things with it. I can uh, send it by mail, I can print it and so on. Thanks for watching this video.